Hi, I'm David Fleming, and I want to welcome you to the YouTube channel of Disciples Ignited, where we are focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. And talking about discipleship, you probably know I have written a series of books on discipleship. You'll find them on Amazon. It's called the Spirit-Filled Discipleship Series. Three books full of content from God's Word that's going to help you learn what it means to be a disciple of the Lord. You can use it in your own individual life, and you can even use it in a group setting. So I really encourage you to look it up on Amazon. Get them. They're going to be a great resource and a great help to you. Now, we have started a new series um, in the Discipleship uh, Ignited YouTube channel. It's on Prophets and Prophetic Ministry. Yesterday, we studied about how God used Abraham, a powerful prophet of the Lord, despite the fact that Abraham had some major issues in his life. Now, the Lord himself called Abraham a prophet. You'll find it in Genesis chapter 20, verse 7, where the Lord said, he is a prophet. Ho! Oh! Now, see, that's important for us to understand this, that the Lord called Abraham a prophet despite the fact that Abraham has some real character flaws, some real issues, some sins in his life. Now, but we want to, we taught that in yesterday's video. So if you need to go back and listen to that one, but we want to balance that teaching with this. If you are being used by the Lord, the Lord expects that you are becoming more and more like Jesus. Ho! Oh, we are called to represent him. That's what being a disciple of the Lord is all about. And so Abraham, we do see throughout his life, became more and more like the Lord. He grew in maturity spiritually as he walked with the Lord. But as a prophet of the Lord, the Lord also expected of him for him not only to walk in the anointing, but walk as an example. Abraham did have some issue, issues in his life, and I am sure that the Lord dealt with those issues. The Lord didn't call Abraham, though, because he was perfect. But the Lord did expect Abraham, as he expects all those who are called into his service, to walk so closely with him and to keep their spiritual eyes so focused upon him, upon Jesus, that we will be transformed, that we will be changed. So do you want the Lord to use you? Then do what Abraham did. Do what every person that is desiring to be a disciple of the Lord. Fix your eyes on the Lord. Fix your eyes on Jesus, and that will transform you. But we do need to address this. As a prophet of the Lord, we must understand that Everything that comes out of a prophet's life, out, out, out of his mouth, I mean, needs to be accurate, needs to be pure. If a prophet lies or deceives, as did Abraham, the Lord is going to deal with them, for sure, as the Lord dealt with Abraham. However, if a prophet lies in the name of the Lord, oh, that's a totally different matter. That is serious, serious business. Because when you speak saying, thus saith the Lord, or if, if uh, you are speaking as though the Lord is using you as a mouthpiece, he expects every word that comes out of your mouth to be accurate, to be pure, and it will be powerful. It will move mountains. It will gain the attention of heaven, and it will shake the gates of hell but it must be pure. It must be accurate. In fact, this is so true that in the Old Testament, if a person lied in the name of the Lord, that person was to be put to death. So the Lord expects his prophets to speak with accuracy, with purity, and they will be a power to be reckoned with upon this earth. There's so much to be learned about this. The Lord's not going to uh, not use somebody because they're imperfect, but he does expect them, if they are speaking in the name of the Lord, to fix their eyes on Jesus and speak with purity. Let's talk more about this tomorrow.